We are about to meet an 11-year-old boy from Tennessee who calls himself the NBT, the next big thing. He is the CEO of Moe's Bows, a company he started when he was just nine years old. I don't know whether I want to adopt him or work for him. He's dapper and he knows it. Please welcome Messiah Bridges. Yeah. Now, Mo, uh, Messiah, let's get down to business. <laughs> How did you start first making bow ties? I started first making bow ties when I was nine years old. And I started making bow ties because they speak to me and they just, they had that little spark in me. Oh, <laughs> my God. You are the only 11-year-old boy I know who could carry off a bow tie. You look amazing in it. You're so yes. good. Yes. But Thank I you. really want to know, I mean, you have this beautiful confidence, but are there kids in the schoolyard who think you look a bit funny in a bow tie? Have you had any ridicule from this? Well, uh... How could you say no to that face? <laughs> <laughs> what do you sell your bow ties, Mo? Well, I sell, well, the majority of my business is online and I have tons of different stores across the South. And what do you say to your friends, Mo, who are, you know, what do they think about you going into business and when, and when they sort of say, well, what are you doing selling bow ties, you're only 11 years old, do you say to them, get a job? <laughs> well, well, my friends, they just ask me, can they work for me? Oh, <laughs> And have you made money yeah. in this company? Yes, I have made money. How much? <laughs> Is and what's your long-term, what's your long-term goal, Mo? Well, my long-term goal is to go to college and have my own clothing line by the time I'm 20. Oh, wow. 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 You branch out from bow ties and go into, into, into all, all sorts of clothing. Yes, gonna... I want to have all sorts of clothing. Oh, so do you sew these diversify. yourself? He's actually sewing. Well, that's nice. and, and, Mo, can I ask, uh, does the tax office know about your little operation? <laughs> Yeah, he's done a runner. He's in, <laughs> he's, he's in Mallorca, even as we speak. Hey, Mo, are there any business men or women that you really look up to who inspire you? Well, I look up to Damon John and... Mm. Um, uh, How about Donald Trump? Calvin Klein. Mm -hmm. And just different male designers. Ooh. Hey, uh, we're trying to flog off some Studio 10 mugs at the moment. Uh, we've just released them. We want you to do a sales pitch to Australia about why uh, they should buy a Studio 10 mug. Do you reckon you could do it? Yes, I think I can do it. All right. <laughs> we're going to get you to take it away in three, two, one. Hey, people, how many times do you want to buy a mug? You want to buy a mug every day, yeah. every week, or just buy a really good quality mug? Well, get your Studio 10 mug at Studio 10. It's a great mug. And, and it also helps your juice and your coffee taste great. You are so adorable. Oh, my God. That kid has Thank just put you. about eight people out of a job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be sitting no on the No wonder he's succeeding. He's yeah. got charisma. Mo, thank you so much for joining us. You've heard it from straight from his mouth. But you can order our Studio 10 mug at studio10 at network10.com.au. Mo, thank you so much for joining us and all the best for the future. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, I hope my kid grows up to be like oh, that. Oh no, how cool is he? There's not much chance. Well, he's obviously very <laughs> well brought <laughs> up. <laughs> now that I think about it. Not much <laughs> chance, <laughs> Joe. That is charisma, isn't yeah. it? Oh, that boy has it all. Wow. wow. Gorgeous.